All right, so a new gourmet shop in Greenwich Village is bringing some spice with its South African style jerk dried meat and a wide selection of sausage filled mm. meat pies. All right, joining us right now to tell us more about this new neighborhood gem, co founders of New York Bill Tong, Brittany Brothers, and Cameron St. Luce. Good morning to you both. Good, Good morning. morning. Hey, big congrats, Hi. by the way. Uh, doing well, thank you. Congrats on being able to open yes. during the pandemic, right? During this unusual time. This is one of Betty's favorite things to eat. So tell us more about Bill Tong. <laughs> Yeah, so biltongs is South African cured meat. So a lot of Americans think it's like jerky, but it's really nothing like it. It's very tender. It's like a high-grade steak that's just cured. And unlike jerky or any of the other cured meats that people eat, it's all natural. So there's no preservatives, there's no gluten, there's no artificial flavoring our coloring and so it's really a great natural snack alternative for I love folks. It. It's terrific and one of our colleagues OG uh, turned me on to it and I have been eating it in the jerky form. I thought biltong was only jerky but like you said it's not um, and it, the thing about it is you don't taste that high sodium flavor in it. I mean there's a yeah, lot of yeah, flavor yeah. to it but you don't you don't walk away feeling like oh my goodness I just ate you know a, a, a little salt. thing of salt. No not at all. It's something that the seasoning actually complements it we actually use roasted coriander, so that's really like the flavor notes that you get. And we also do like a spicy alternative. But again, you really can taste the high quality of the meat and the seasonings just to complement it. So tell me about some of the challenges that maybe you faced while you were trying to open up during the pandemic. Because so many people are saying, okay, we want to open. Maybe they can look to you for some inspiration. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so we signed our lease actually in February. So like two weeks before the pandemic really hit New York. We were signed into our lease. We were scheduled to open in the March, April timeframe. And then COVID really hit New York. And so we kind of used it to our advantage. We used the extra time to build the buzz about the store, do mm -hmm. things the right way. And we actually did everything in the store ourselves. So we were able to actually save some money by not having a lot of contractors do the work. Right. It was just the two of us. Um, and we use the time to do things the right way. Sometimes when people own businesses, they start rushing and things right. get forgotten. So I feel like the extra time, we use it to our advantage. So how has business been? Um, for a lot of folks, we understand obviously it's been slow, but were you surprised at all? We've been pleasantly surprised. I think the West Village, local South Africans and New Yorkers have all been really supportive. They wanna see small businesses survive and for us, a lot of South Africans, they can't go home and they don't know when they can go home again because right. of the pandemic. So this is that taste of home for them where mm. they're being overcharged by online e-commerce stores or they're just not able to get the products, period. So we have folks really driving in from the tri-state area. So, again, we've been really happy and successful compared to what's happened to a lot of other businesses, yeah. which we feel terrible about. Hey, Cameron, um, besides the actual Biltong meat itself, I hear you offer other products as well. So tell me about some of them. Um, yeah, we offer some meat pies, sausage rolls, um, a South African style farmer sausage called Brewvors, um, and then all South African groceries like um, flings, um, some chips, some spices, um, some chutneys, all wow. all like South African staples, and you know, it's yeah. I want the meat it's pie. kind of like so a lot of our a lot of our customers come in and they'll say they feel like home. And oh, if any of you have had chocolate outside of the States, that's what a lot of people come here for is that really high quality chocolate that Ooh, they can't get. Oh, chocolate. Mm. Now you're speaking for, our language. I'm coming for the meat pie. <laughs> that's what I want. Uh, well, hey, best pie. of luck to you both. Uh, so excited to be able to feature you guys and hopefully business just takes off. Thank you Thank so you. much. Appreciate it. We really appreciate it.